Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and uh, as I mentioned in my unboxing video of the uh, newest shipment I got from River's Edge Cutlery, including this Benchmade bailout, I knew before I even ordered this knife that I was going to be swapping this backspacer. So um, I'm going to do that real quick. I already, a couple of days ago, ordered this from Rockscale Design. Um, this is a titanium backspacer, which is for the bailout specifically. And uh, this one's anodized bronze, which I think is going to look pretty cool in there. Um, I may eventually source um, like some bronze hardware and thumb studs. I think that could be cool. We'll see how intense I take this build. Um, I may do a scale swap at some point. Might do a scale swap and a hardware swap. We'll see. Time will tell. But in the meantime, I got to get rid of this little snaggle tooth here. That, uh, that's not going to stay. So let me go ahead and see how I'm going to go about this. I've taken apart the bug out before, um, but I've obviously never, to take, never taken apart a bailout because I haven't owned one. Um, reminder as well, this one is reground thanks to River's Edge Cutlery. It's really cool that they do that. Let me go ahead and dig right in. Need this. I assume I'm going to have to take off the clip, which will be T6s. Yep. And it looks like those body screws are T6s as well, actually. Let's keep that sticker. Let's see. So it looks like this is going to go into that screw and this screw. Let's get the clip off so I can access this side as well. There's one. <clears throat> and there is two. Excellent. I'm gonna leave those screws right on there. Now go ahead and pull out this screw. I'm gonna see if I can do this without disassembling the knife. Looks like there's some Loctite in there, but it still came out relatively easily. We'll probably put just the tiniest dab of Loctite on. Ah, we'll see actually, there's still some on the screws, so I don't know if that's the, the best way to go about that, but it looks like this is actually gonna replace that barrel spacer as well. It's kind of cool. wiggle here. It looks like I will. I'm able to kind of get these. Yeah, this is totally going to work. So we've got, oh man, it's free on this side. This side is being stubborn. I wonder if some of the Loctite kind of got on there a little bit. Let's see if I can pry that out without damaging anything. Yeah, there was just some Loctite that had gotten between the uh, scale. That's weird. It almost looks like white Loctite. Maybe blue Loctite dries. No, I, I don't think blue Loctite dries that color. Also interesting. Does that... I don't know what that goes to. I guess there's just a... Helps it from spinning or floating back there. I don't know. Weird. Um, yeah, these are pretty noticeably different in terms of the way that they mount. This one is going to go in that same center screw back there, but then it joins all the way up to here. And this one has like a, there's no screw that goes in there on the knife, but it, I guess kind of holds it in place, keeps it from rotating in there. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, I got to get that barrel spacer out of there now. Come on, little guy. goes. All right, so before I go any further, I'm going to put this little barrel spacer. Oh, I'm going to still need those screws, I guess. So just the barrel spacer and this are going to go into that baggie. Now let's see if I can set this guy in. I am far from a 
professional at this kind of thing, but oh, that's gonna look really cool. <laughs> so much better already. All right, yeah, let me go ahead and start chucking screws back into here. I normally am not the biggest fan of T6 screws. I just prefer larger heads because it's easier to strip screws that are this tiny in my experience. Um, but on knives like the Bailout and the Bug Out with their like super small, lightweight nature, I feel like it just kind of, it works. I'm not, I'm not bent out of shape about that. I, uh, I would not mind if they were T8s, but T6 will work too. filming this from the other side of the table, by the way, because it is much harder, I have found, to do this kind of thing while um, reaching around the camera. I think uh, part of why my Para 3 hardware install, which you guys never saw the video of because it went horribly awry, uh, part of why that didn't work out so well is because I was reaching around the camera and uh, getting that uh, lanyard tube out while reaching around it. it was just not working so well all right there we have it that is the backspacer installed so now all that's left to do is a make sure all these just double check that I'm torqued down an appropriate amount on here and then I'm going to um, address the centering just a little bit because this wasn't perfectly centered. It's favoring the clip side at the moment. So let's see. That looks to be a T10 even. I'll be glad if that's a T10. It is. Great. Well, even though they're T6 body screws, at least they skipped 8 and went to 10 for the pivot screw. I'm thinking I may just need to tighten it a hair. bit. See if I can't give it the old kind of push trick. Apply some pressure. See where that leaves us. Still in the same spot. Center. All right, I'll fidget with that <laughs> off camera, but there we have the backspacer installed. Let me clip this or throw this clip back on real quick as well so that it is truly reassembled and done. That's not what I want. That's a T8. I need the T6. There we go. One thing that I love about the bug out is the clip and this is the same Benchmade mini deep carry clip so um, I feel like the bailout makes quite a bit of sense to me I uh, will be doing a first impressions here in the next day or two but um, I, I didn't really like the mini bug out I just felt like it didn't make any sense to have a smaller version of the bug out uh, but this being like a slightly larger bug out a um, little more handle and then having 3v and especially reground to be a drop point like this um, I think this is far more compelling than the mini bug out certainly and uh, yeah I'm excited for this one that went in perfect it looks great in my opinion I like that kind of pop of bronze back here it's a uh, it looks good the bronze on the black it uh, it does make me tempted to put more bronze bits on it throughout the rest of the knife but we will uh we'll see if that happens anywho that is installed and oh that's my t10 going in the wrong spot i think that'll be that so thanks for checking this out with me uh this was meant just to be a quick little install video showing how that goes in and uh yeah, I've heard nothing but good things about Rock Scale Design. This is my first of their products. So I'm excited to see that it was so easy to put in. And uh, that was, frankly, kind of a breeze. So thank you so much.